hey everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing some gold flake frenchy acrylic nails and i'm super excited to do this i have done it in my youtube channel maybe like i don't know three or four years ago or something um they came out so so cute and i just wanted to do a how-to because this design i am obsessed with i've done it on myself a few times and so i wanted to come on here and show it to you guys a more in-depth explanation of how I do it. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with my fine sandy band, go over the entire natural nail, take off all of the oils that our nails naturally produce, and then I'm going to grab my nail tips. Today I'm gonna be using the 3XL square no C curve tips in a box from Crafts by Nine. Cutting it down to my desired length, I did want a little bit of a longer nail just to showcase the flakes. And then I'm gonna apply one coat of dehydrator and then two coats of the primer, which everything, as always, all products that I use during my videos are linked down below in my description box with direct links to every single thing I use. If I ever forget something, cause I might've overlooked it or something, Feel free to comment down below and I'd be more than happy to give you guys a direct link for that too. The acrylic brush is from Not Polish and the actual acrylic I'm using is First Nude. I'm using that for the Frenchy part. Um, and I wanted to do it as carefully as possible because I didn't want to go in and hand file, which of course you can, but I like to just do it as neatly as I can and as carefully as I can to make sure that I don't have to do that. Um, so I placed the bead, which is like a medium sized bead right below the nail tip where it is on the natural nail. And I work my way up. I like to push it up and then um, while it's drying, I like to shape it in the way that I want it to be, how long I want it to be. You could make it smaller or longer. It is completely up to you and how you want your finished product to look but this is the way that i am doing it um of course i left it in real time for you guys to see like my actual application and how it is working just remember and keep in mind we are in summer and it is so so hot in my nail room so it makes it extremely difficult to have like the perfect bead but not polished acrylics just make magic happen because it just makes the work so much easier and I love using them. Regardless of the weather, they still seem to be like super, super buttery and easy to work with. Um, and so, you know, the nail gods were on my side because it really came out so, so nice. When you're like, you have to keep in mind that your temperature in your nail room has to be at a certain temperature because especially if you're using clear acrylic, it can begin to crystallize. Um, and that has to do with the weather and also with your liquid to powder ratio. So just keep that in mind be very, very careful. But I never have the issue of crystallization. So I'm glad I always like to use like a Rainier bead to avoid that. And yeah, when I first did this gold flakes um, French tip nail years ago, I... At first, I didn't really know how to do it because I wasn't too in like I wasn't too far along in my nail journey and there was no videos. I this is just something that randomly came to my mind. I used to work at Michael's and um, I used to literally while I was on my break and stuff like look around for nail products and stuff like that. Things that I can use for my nails and I got like this pack of gold flakes and it's, this idea just popped into my mind and I was like, I need to do this ASAP, we gotta do this. And so I still have those gold flakes to this day, which are not these, but they're like in bigger bottles. And I think I got them in gold, silver, and I don't even remember, there was three, but I still have them. And I just, I, I just knew that I wanted to do this French tip gold flake like nail set. And I did, and I absolutely loved it. It did take me so long to do because I was like a beginner. I didn't, you know, I still took my time. I, it took a long time. And, um, but the finished look just came out so, so cool. I did each nail, I think was different gold flake color. Um, I like mixed and matched. 
and then one of them was all of them together and it just came out so cool i'm pretty sure i have it here on my youtube channel and if i don't then i have it on my instagram for sure but yeah i had to upload it and it came out really really nice if i can toot my own horn <laughs> But um, yeah, today we're using this pink one. I don't know, it was just in my drawer and I thought the color was beautiful. And um, so what I do is I apply a small bead of clear acrylic um, and I use a very runny bead because I need something that sticks to the nail, sticks to the, uh, make sure that the gold flakes stick on there and it doesn't dry too fast. And since, like I said, the weather is a problem right now, so we have to work really, really fast before it starts to dry. Um, and then I was having a little bit of trouble with the tweezers. And so I finally decided to just pick up the gold flakes with my brush. And it worked so much better. I should have done this since the beginning. <laughs> so that was what I did. And getting closer to like the cuticle area where it's so much thinner and a, a lot less space to work with. You have to be very careful and of course try not to get it on the nude acrylic because then you're gonna be able to see it or you're gonna have a hard time taking it off and stuff. I don't go in and file at all until after I'm done encapsulating. So I have to be very neat with my work. Of course, you, you could be as messy as you want and then go in and hand file, but just be very clean about your work or else you're gonna be able to see it at the end result. Um, so then I'm going in with the clear just to encapsulate the gold flakes and make sure that everything is cohesive and it looks uh, really nice from this side because right now there's a huge indent or dent from where the nude acrylic is down to the gold flakes. There's a huge dip and so that is why I go in with the clear acrylic just to encapsulate it and make it all completely even. So I tried not to touch the nude acrylic since it's already the thickness that I want. But of course, if you want it to be thicker, then you just also go in with the clear acrylic and make it as thick as you want. Um, but in this case, I was happy with how the nude acrylic looked. So I really, really focused on just where the gold flake or the rose gold flakes were and encapsulated that. I think I went in with like three or four beads this is one of my favorite clear acrylics. It like, you know, leaves no bubbles. You just have to use a little bit of runnier beads to work with, but it is absolutely amazing. And it's just super easy to work with. So I highly, highly recommend it. And then once I'm closer to like the thinner area of the Frenchie, I just apply a bead right below the nude and then work my way up. And it's okay if you get it on the nude, of course, because we're gonna go in and file anyway. Um, but just make sure that you blend it really nicely because you know you don't want anything to be stuck on there or to pop out at you when you're applying your top coat. You want everything to be super, super smooth and even, even before you go in and hand file. Of course, that can fix it, but you want to work as neatly as possible, like I said. So. This is what it looks like all completely dry and it looks really, really cool like that too. But of course you want it to pop out. So we're not gonna be leaving it matte. Um, I'm going in with my Kiara Sky hand file, the 8080, which I didn't have to do a lot of because I really took my time with this nail set. I didn't want anything to come out wrong. And so I took my time. Then we're going in with the same products that we were doing in the beginning with the pink sanding bands and Kiara Sky e-file, sealing the cuticle area, going over the entire nail just to smooth everything out before we go in with the top coat. Any bumps or lumps or anything like that is gonna be very noticeable, especially on a nail that it has clear and is pretty see-through. Not all the way see-through, but it does have its spots where it's see-through. So you just have to be very clean about it all. Cleaning the C-curve just to make it more pronounced. And then the pink buffing blocks to buff the nail and smooth it all out because we are now ready for the application. So I go over the entire nail with the pink lint-free wipes from Crafts by Nine and Young Nail Swipe. And even then it looks so beautiful already. It would look really, really cute like that too. But we're gonna go in with Crafts by Nine Glossy No Wipe Gel Top Coat. I wanted to do the bottom part last with the glossy top coat just to have like that big reveal 
and I, oh my god you guys this nail came out so so cute if you guys ever try it make sure to tag me in your instagram posts or send them to me if you do it here on youtube but it is absolutely beautiful and i'm completely obsessed i hope you guys like today's how-to video i hope you guys learned something hope i was able to teach you guys something and thank you guys so much for watching let me know what how-to video you would like to see me do next don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and turn on my post notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.